Behind the darkened windows, at the Prime Minister's side as she arrived at last month's EU summit, Sir Ivan Rogers tried to keep a low profile. But his warning that it could take the UK 10 years to get a new EU trade deal overshadowed what was already a difficult occasion for Theresa May. Sir Ivan was one of Britain's most experienced negotiators. He was a key member of David Cameron's team when the former Prime Minister tried to get agreement on a new relationship with the EU before the referendum. And some who've worked with Sir Ivan believe his departure is a real loss to the government. The only way we're going to deliver a successful, workable Brexit is precisely with the expertise of people like Ivan Rogers, who's now been forced to the margins, forced to the sidelines, because of the angry zeal of Brexiteers who just won't accept anyone who says anything different to what they so happen to believe in. But leading Brexit campaigners are delighted he's gone. Sir Ivan is part of the establishment that, frankly, haven't accepted the referendum result and are hoping that, frankly, it will never happen. And I'm sorry to say, but the Foreign Office is stuffed full of these people from top to bottom. For decades, they've been taking Britain in the wrong, in the completely wrong direction, and I hope Sir Ivan's departure is followed by many, many more. In her New Year's message, the Prime Minister stressed her commitment to getting a Brexit deal that works for everyone. For we have made a momentous decision and set ourselves on a new direction. And whoever takes over as the UK representative to the EU will play a critical role. It's important that we have someone in the job, as Sir Ivan was doing, and no doubt his successor will do as well, who will report back to the British government and through the government to Parliament about what the other member states are saying and thinking, because in a negotiation, it really pays to know where the other side is coming from. Theresa May has said she'll trigger Article 50 by the end of March and the official line is that Sir Ivan Rogers has decided to leave now so a new appointment can be made before the start of those formal negotiations for Britain's departure from the EU.